Hey, 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 good morning, good morning, everybody. Woo, we got some things to talk about on a Monday morning. It is Monday, right? But, George, it is a Monday. Mmm, my morning coffee. So, the Monday morning surprise. I got a little bit something here for you. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. It is, what time is it? I don't know, sometime just shortly after 6 o'clock, I backed into this door here at 6 a.m. this morning. I am just south of Seattle, Washington, delivering some Jenny O turkey. Got a couple of stops here to make in Seattle this morning. Then pick up a load later on today, and I think I'm heading back toward Minneapolis. Just call me the Minneapolis Yo-Yo, man. That's all I do is yo-yo in and out of Minneapolis. By the way, here, you know, like I'm having my morning coffee, right? Man, that is so good. I don't drink no foo-foo keto coffee. I don't even know what keto coffee is. What is that anyway? I drink coffee. Matter of fact, I tell you what I do is I get Starbucks espresso full bean I grind it on the truck it's fresh make it right here I make it pretty stiff I like my coffee black 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 but then uh, I take two hot cocos Swiss Miss hot chocolate I put two packages of hot chocolate in it then I put a heavy dose of hazelnut creamer in it. No sugar. Voila. So it's kind of a cross between hot chocolate, hazelnut, and coffee. Way to start the day, man. I'm telling you. I can't get enough of that. But here, let's get into the subjects of the day. The Monday morning surprise. This is something that's totally amazing to me because I haven't heard anybody talk about it. Nobody's saying a word. I remember when Hale Bop Comet came through. That was a big deal. It was all over the TV. It was all over the news. Everybody was going out and taking a look at Hale Bop Comet because you only probably got to see it once in a lifetime. And uh, I was actually skydiving pretty hard back then and went down to White Wright, Texas, and a bunch of us got together to do a night jump. We uh, made a skydive where we all bailed out of the airplane. We made a big circle, what we called a 10-way speed star. Can't remember how many of us there was, though. It was more than 10 of us. Anyway, so we made a big circle holding hands in free fall. And then we had the photographer laying on his back, inverted, underneath the circle, shooting up so that he could see the stars in the background and got a picture of the Hale-Bopp Comet right in the middle of us all in free fall around it. It was awesome, dude. It was one of the awesome times, right? Man, I love life. Gotta live it. If you're gonna be here, might as well live it. Don't be scared. Fear is a funny thing. Keeps people from being or doing the great things that they should do in this life. God didn't give you this life to just sit on your hands and. Anyway, go live your life, man. But anyway, this brings me to the topic. I got a bit of the runny nose this morning. COVID 19? No. <laughs> There is a major event going on right now, and I haven't heard anybody say a word about it. This is a big deal, too. How many of you have heard of the Atlas Comet? This isn't no ordinary comet. This thing is huge. Tell you how big it is. It's half the size of our sun. It's five times the size of Jupiter. And it is 
making its way through our solar system right now. Matter of fact, it's going to come close to Earth. It's going to come up, not galactically, it's close. 72 million miles within Earth. And it is visible with the naked eye right now in the night sky. You can see, if, if you're anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere, because it's coming in from the top. Just look toward the north. You'll be able to see it. It should be the brightest thing in your night sky. Uh, actually, even brighter than the planet Venus at the moment. You can tell it's a comet because uh, the gaseous atmosphere that's coming off of it should have a little bit of a green fuzzy haze to it. Looks like a star with a green fuzzy haze around it. Anyway, that's what it should look like at the moment. Have I seen it? No. I haven't got to see it yet. I'm in Washington and it's totally, absolutely overcast. And I was in Seattle last night. So light pollution, overcast, no chance recap could see it last night. But on my trip, and that's what you ought to do if you're a truck driver, like, you get out in the country, way away from the city lights, you're gonna have to stop and take a look at the Atlas Comet. This is a generational comet. In other words, it's only one chance in a lifetime to see this one. It is huge. It's one of the largest com it is the largest comet that I've ever heard of in my life. This comet is on an orbit of about 4,000 miles. So, st stupid me, not 4,000 miles. I shouldn't talk early in the morning, should I? 4,000 years. Comet comes through, takes its little slingshot orbit around our sun every 4,000 years. Could this be what they were talking about with planet Nibiru? It's only off 400 years. Could be. Did the people 4,000 years ago, did they know the difference between a comet and a planet? Don't know. But anyway, the Atlas Comet, five times the size of Jupiter, half the size of our sun, coming through our solar system right now, visible by the naked eye. You ought to go out and take a look at it tonight. Anyway, being a truck driver, you can get out away from the cities. I'm going to be crossing Montana and Wyoming in the middle of the night. I'm going to step out in the middle of nowhere and do a little comet gazing. Here's a here's another little fact. Y'all have, um, I'm sure that, that you have heard a lot of the, what? What? Look at this. Let's see if I can get a picture. What? You want a biscuit? You want a biscuit or do you want... This is what she likes right here. Yeah, buddy, huh? Watch how gently she takes this. You want some of this, huh? There you go. It's a good girl. Old Trapper. Original deli style beef sticks. Yeah, Bangers gets the absolute best treats known to man. Most spoiled rotten dog on earth. God bless you each and every one, huh, baby girl? I know my daughter probably hates it when I call that dog that because I call her baby girl too. <laughs> what? Oh, what I was going to talk about. So, we know a lot of crap is going on with this. COVID-19 Uga Booga scare that they're playing on the people. Uh, we, I know most of you have probably learned that they're cooking the numbers and uh, there's been several uh, studies come out like Stafford University, uh, universities out of Los Angeles and stuff that have actually uh, determined that the mortality rate of this SOVED killer virus is <laughs> less lethal than the common flu. Like I've heard numbers like 0 0.05 or 0 0.036. 
mortality rate. That's actually lower than the normal flu. And we're hearing all kinds of things coming from doctors and nurses. There's doctors all over online that are screaming, uh, it's all bullshit, that this was actually a rouge. And uh, we can go into all the different conspiracy theories of, of why um, people would uh, do that, but I'm not going to go there because I don't know, but from everything I can study and everything I can see, it's pretty much bullshit. We'll just go there. Uh, here is one of the interesting facts I learned over the weekend. Uh, this, uh, I was listening to a doctor's uh, research on it. And I can't remember the name of this test. I remember it was invented in 1984. The guy that actually invented it said that you can't even, uh, the guy that invented the test said do not use the test to uh, diagnose any infectious diseases. It's not what the test is designed us to do. It just says if something's present, it doesn't tell you if there's enough of it to make you sick or not because of the way the test operates. What was that? So, anyway, but, but here's the interesting fact I heard. That if you have had a flu shot within the last two years, uh, you'll test positive on that DCR or DO, whatever that test is. So if you had a flu shot within the last two years, you're going to pop positive on that test. Kind of like drinking it. You know, if you eat a poppy seed bagel and go in and take, take a drug screen, you're going to pop positive. Yeah. So, good news is it looks like the American people have had enough, and if their masters turn them loose and open it up or not, I think the American people have said we've had enough. They're going, they're going on about their life. Finally, I, I never could understand that in the first place. I thought you were a bunch of grown individuals, but your, your government told you to that you're grounded and you have to stay at your home, and you actually listen to that. I'm freaking amazed. I thought civil disobedience had a lot stronger will than that. You know, just good old-fashioned civil disobedience. I thought most of the American people would just say, kiss my ass, but I guess the time when men were men and women liked it that way, I guess that time has passed. I don't know. But here it is, a Monday morning, drinking my coffee, getting unloaded, a couple more stops, then I'm, I love the Pacific Northwest, oh my God, some of Sokomi, is it? I can't say it. Sokomi Pass, whatever it is, coming through the mountains, coming into Seattle, Washington. Oh, mercy, mercy. Was that one of the most beautiful drives coming in? You know, everything's green, beautiful, big black rock, majestic mountains, snow halfway up to the top. I mean, God's country, man. I'm telling you, I love it up here. I could definitely live here. My problem is, is I'd go out and get me a cup of coffee and I'd end up talking politics and have to go home and shoot myself in the head. Because these people out here just ain't right. I was talking to a friend of mine on the, another YouTuber, and we were talking about the population out of here. And, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the illegal marijuana and everything out here. And, Anyway, you see the statement they made. I went, yeah, the hippy-dippy environment. <laughs> People think I'm kind of hippie, but I don't know. Am I cowboy? Am I hippie? Am I redneck? Am I old jarhead? I don't know. I just 
I just be, I just do me. Anyway, didn't have anything of great importance. Go out and take a look at the comet, man. You don't want to miss that. Uh, unless you're going to hang around for another four years and catch it on the replay. But uh, that's all I really had to say today. Y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. Remember, you too can save the world, man. You can change it all. All you got to do is be nice to each other. Bye-bye.